Iliac UK is the largest national charity supporting people with celiac disease and dermatitis hepatiformis, which is a skin condition associated with celiac disease. Celiac disease is an autoimmune disease and it's caused by intolerance to gluten. Uh, gluten is a protein and it's found in wheat, barley and rye and also some people with celiac disease also have an intolerance to oats. Well a lot of research has clearly demonstrated that one in a hundred people have celiac disease. However, today only one in eight of those people are actually diagnosed. Well, there are a wide range of symptoms that, that people have, uh, ranging from diarrhoea to constipation, bloating, tiredness, uh, anemia. Uh, in the case of sometimes with children, it can be stunted growth. So there are a whole range of, of problems, uh, largely tummy-based problems that can show themselves. Diagnosing celiac disease is usually done with a simple blood test uh, which is followed up by a biopsy in a hospital uh, through a gastroenterology department. Uh, whilst the, te the test is actually very simple, uh, often the test takes a long time for a GP to actually do on the basis that the symptoms of celiac disease are similar to symptoms of other conditions, other conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome. So often GPs take some time in order to uh, decide whether they wish to carry out that blood test for that person. In May there's a new NICE guideline being introduced whereby GPs are now being uh, recommended to carry out a blood test for celiac disease for all patients that are presenting symptoms that could be associated with celiac disease such as anemia or irritable bowel syndrome. Celiac UK's main role is to support people with celiac disease so our role is very much to provide information give them people support. We have a helpline that is available five days a week and people can call in with all sorts of questions. We have a team of dietitians available to answer queries on diet related matters and health issues. Our Awareness Week campaign, which this year is called Free for Tea, the purpose of it is to raise awareness of celiac disease within the UK and we've managed this year to link up with the National Trust and over 90 of their properties are for our week of Awareness Week, which is May the 11th to the 17th, are running special events with gluten-free menus and have gluten-free products available in their cafes and restaurants. We're encouraging people to sign up to our petition that we have at the moment, which is to ask the Prime Minister to put pressure on GPs and to target them to improve the levels of diagnosis of people with celiac disease by addressing the condition more seriously. The best advice is if you think you may have celiac disease is to go to see your doctor in the first instance, explain your symptoms and say why you think you may have the condition and ask if you can have the blood test. The blood test is very, very accurate and in 99% in of the cases will positively pick up celiac disease. However, to have a final diagnosis, it does require a, a firm biopsy, which would be carried out in, in a hospital. Well, the biopsy confirms the damage to the gut and with celiac disease, the, the intolerance to the gluten affects the lining of the gut, which becomes damaged. And it is only through the biopsy that that categoric diagnosis can be given. 
Well, it, as long as people adhere to a very strict gluten-free diet, uh, it, the, the condition is totally managed by diet. So in some ways it's, it's uh, quite an easy thing to manage in the sense that it doesn't involve medication. However, obviously living under a very strict diet does cause day-to-day -day problems. Well, I think when people are cooking at home and cooking uh, meals right from scratch involving fresh ingredients, the problems are, are not too difficult. However, once processed foods are introduced into diet, typically a lot of those foods do include some form of wheat-based uh, additives and that is where the problem lies. It's also very difficult for people with celiac disease when they're out and about eating and, and trying to find food that's readily available, fast food type of thing of sandwiches which people tend to eat uh, and, and want to pick up quickly when they're, when they're out and about.